thought of a car accident, very scary for anybody, but especially if you're an expectant mother. There's a new product now that claims to protect pregnant bellies by redirecting the seatbelt in a car accident. But is it safe? So these are being sold online for about 20 bucks. Pretty cheap. They claim to be crash tested. Moms in social media groups have caught on and are asking, are these safe? Well, let's answer that question. We're joined by a certified child safety technician and founder of Tot Squad, Jennifer Saxton. Also joined by Haley, who is eight months pregnant. Welcome to both of you. Congrats, <laughs> Haley. So first things first, show us how these are supposed to work. Yeah, so uh, basically it kind of goes through the bat, like if, if I were sitting on it, it goes under and around your vehicle seat and then clips in between your legs. The seatbelt kind of gets routed in between your knees, um, so it would come down and then over so that it's not So if you were in an accident, would the pressure be on your knees then? It, no, yeah. it would be like just going under. The problem is if you're in a collision, it could break. This, you know, even though they claim to be crash tested, this feels pretty flimsy to me. I don't think it's been crash tested. I know for a fact it has not been crash tested mm -hmm. by Nissan and Toyota and all of the major vehicle mm -hmm. manufacturers out there. So if it were to break, it's going to add a lot of excess slack into the safety belt, and then your body is going to move so much, and it could, you know, have catastrophic consequences for mother and baby. Right. It's so not going to lock properly because of. Of that slack. Exactly. If there's all this extra slack where it's trying to move it through a different path than the way the seatbelt is designed to work, this is going to cause a major problem in a collision. Haley, as you've gone through your pregnancy, have you been trying to figure out, okay, where do I put this? Where, where does yeah. the seatbelt go? Yeah, I've, I've figured out kind of a way to maneuver my body to make sure that it's not resting on my belly and it's kind of tight across my lap. So more lower on the pelvis versus yeah. direct pressure on the abdomen Correct. where baby's hanging out. And of course it is important for pregnant women to wear a seatbelt throughout pregnancy because if you are in a car accident, it's going to increase the probability that you and your baby will make it out safely. But there is a proper way for pregnant women to wear a seatbelt even when their baby bump gets a little larger. Can you show us that? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually the exact same way any adult should wear a mm -hmm. seatbelt. So you should always have the lap belt portion low and tight across your hips. You never want the seatbelt going over your stomach and your soft tissue and organs. And then you want the shoulder part of the harness to, to go across your shoulder. You don't want it too close to your neck. You don't want it to be too far this way. We often see uh, expectant mothers reclining their seat a lot just to make a little bit more space. But if the seat belt is then having a big gap between your body, again, your body is gonna move mm -hmm. a lot in a collision which could cause damage to you and your child. So you wanna make sure that your seat and your seat belt fit correctly. A lot of vehicles actually have an adjuster here where you can kind of make sure that the height is correct so that it's not hitting you in the face or shoulder or too far off. And Jennifer, as a rule of thumb, when you're talking about uh, products, safety products, whether it be for mom or for child, whether they be car, uh, baby seats, mm -hmm. rollers, now we're talking about seat belts for pregnant women. I mean, companies have designed them a certain way. The minute you, you try to start tweaking them and modifying themselves, you may be... Uh, taking away the safety features. Absolutely, and just taking an additional risk because if you are in an accident and a product malfunctions and you wanna you know, make a claim, um, you're not gonna have a good claim because they're gonna say, well, you weren't using our product the way it was designed. That's particularly true with child car seats, um, et cetera. So my last tip for expectant mothers riding in the car um, and adults in general, especially elderly people who you see trying to get really close up to see out, um, is you wanna make sure you have at least 10 inches of space between your body and the steering wheel. And as your bump gets bigger, that can be a little bit more difficult. So in the last month or two of your pregnancy, if you don't have to be the driver, try to ride in the passenger seat. Uh, obviously, you know, work as long as you can can, but when you don't have to, you know, have your bump so close to the steering wheel and that hard um, item that you're going to potentially impact, try to ride in the passenger seat. And then also for pregnant moms, if you're going to tilt your steering wheel, you can tilt it towards your breastbone as opposed to your head exactly. or towards your belly. Exactly. And I think what I've learned from you when you've been on regarding car seats for kids as well, it's if you can buy a product for 20 bucks online that's claiming to increase safety. Don't be wary. Be wary. Be very wary. Hey, I have to ask you, do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? Girl. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I've been blessed with this last month. And Jennifer, always appreciate you. your help on these topics.